Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Belgi and we are going to be starting up a brand new spooky time. We're going to be playing Resident Evil Village. I've been really excited to get to this game. Very much looking forward to it. But before we do, we're going to start with a recap in case uh, I forgot anything about the last one. Or you haven't seen anything about it. So, uh, this is the second game. If you haven't seen it and you want to go watch the first one, I would do that first. And then uh, if not, uh, we'll go and just do a recap. Here we go. It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. I was looking for my wife, who disappeared. I got an email from her. She told me to come get her. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. She wasn't thinking right. She attacked me like some kind of wild animal. Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. The people who lived there were already infected. What was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat Mia's symptoms with a serum. Then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddies showed up and saved the both of us. Is that enough? I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. It's all over now. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared and with a click of his fingers crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal.
gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Well, all right. Uh, already. Something? Nothing. I'll put her down. <laughs> already, I got a few things to say. Uh, first of all, I'm interested to see where that story comes in, because that was a bunch of nonsense, so it's got to come into play eventually, I would imagine. Second. Let's see. Oh. Oh, geez, that's a familiar sight. Second, uh, I'm gonna go and be up front. I have never liked Mia. In the first game, you know, again, spoilers, uh, but in the first game, you know, you find out she was a liar all along about being with, uh, that one organization. Kind of like Umbrella, but they're not. Oh, Mia. What a miracle. Hmm. And, uh, you know, a after you find out that your spouse is working for a secret organization that is not on the up and up, I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. And then, you know, you find out she's lying and everything, so then you decide to continue and get married to her? I mean, I guess she wasn't his wife, but... Uh, might have been his wife. I cannot remember if they were already married, but still, I would not taste have the music's uh, definitely continued. improved over the years. You mean mine has. Definitely like a divorce situation. Or just run the other way, because that this this relationship is doomed. And then... She's got a bit of an attitude, doesn't she? She's a little, uh, a little testy. You know, I, I think that through the trauma that they've both been through, this might be one of those situations where them just being together is just a reminder. And it might have been a good idea to, you know, cut those ties. Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. Cute Bubba, though. However, falling asleep like that in six months and carrying them like this, and I mean, I guess everybody might have had a different experience, but it was not mine. <laughs> My little one usually yelled her way to sleep. Let's see here. Just want to look around. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Mia makes everything by hand, so this stuff keeps piling up. Well, dang. Rose's food. Sixth rice cereal, banana puree, sweet potato puree, boiled spinach and cream. Ethan, don't give her any sugar or honey. And no mushrooms. Yeah, that didn't seem like the best of ideas. Alright, well let's take our little bit to upstairs. I think they said her name was Rose. Huh? Okay. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Yeah, then she gets through all this trauma and stuff, and then decides to want to read her, her daughter, that kind of a thing. And I just, I don't know. It's very off-putting. I, I just, I don't trust her. Your mama and I love this song so much. So we're gonna try to see... I'm hoping that when I put Almost her down... There, honey. So when I put her down, it lets me explore a little bit, because I'd like to... Oh. Now oh, it looks like she's still sleeping in here. Put her down here. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Oh, 
I love little bibbas. You little bibbas. Alright. Roses close for tomorrow. Good choices. Good choices. Look around here. Okay, looks like we got an office. February 6, 2021. Oh. So, this just happened recently. Me and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me, as one does. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly, but I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that heck hole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Uh, I mean, usually still a bad sign, isn't it? Uh, name, Rosemary Winters. Date of birth, 2 8 2020. Weight, 14.48 pounds. All results show no health issues. Patients good health. Other notes, results for additional fungal pathogen tests will be provided by BSAA. Okay, so I'm guessing they wanted to make sure. Let's see. Rose is fine. Because her mother was infected, they wanted to make sure that she was not infected. It's not paranoia if they're really out to get you. <laughs> so this is like their wedding... Wedding stuff. There's some ultrasounds of the bubba. And there's the bubba. She's so cute. <gasps> and there's my now. I wish these. I could stay like this forever. Yeah, it, this never happened. Goodness gracious. Trying to get. There's no way. These pr pictures are too good. I don't believe them. These were doctored. All right. I think that's everything in here. Check over here. Yeah. Anyway, so it looks like they were worried about... Now, she was not pregnant, obviously, with this baby. That happened three years ago. And uh, the baby's only, what, six months? So, obviously, that did not just happen. But looks like they were worried that maybe the fungus stayed or there were remnants of it. And they wanted to make sure that it didn't in any way transfer to the baby. Which, I mean... I didn't exactly see a result there, did you? It said it was going to be handled by the BSAA, which might be Chris's group. I cannot remember what they were called. No, he was with the new <coughs> umbrella. Got to do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Yeah, he was with new umbrella, so I, I do not remember what the BSAA is. Uh, curtain closes. Uh, the Dolby gas incident. The committee completed their investigation on the 18th into the uh, Dolby toxic gas leak in Louisiana in 2017. They concluded the deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas that had built up in the mud rock under the area. Jack Baker and his family who were exposed to the gas. Ah, so this is the cover story for what happened at the house in the first game. Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to have been nearby, but the current whereabouts are unknown. The entire area has been closed off by officials who believe it it will be at least 10 years before the area is habitable again. Everyone's forgotten about this already. Nice little cover story they're trying to do there. I mean, it's in the middle of deep Louisiana, so. Alright. We've checked over there, we've checked over there. Let's check this bathroom. 10 bucks says there's drugs. Coping drugs. Oh. Yeah, Mia's medication. She's been on strict regiment ever since the incident. Hmm. I mean, I would imagine some some therapy and some some uh, anxiety medication is due. Like, I'm not knocking her for that, but I don't know. She seems like she's kind of spiraling. Like she's barely holding it together. Oh, just locked. Okay. Is she okay? Sleeping like a well, like a baby. Hmm. <laughs> That smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's Chorba de la Gum. 
It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> Mia, get down! Mia! God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Go move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Hey doc. hey, doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Ooh. Seems we've crashed. Jesus. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not on the Fuck. What the hell happened here? All right. Well. We definitely crashed. See, now they were trying to... I don't know. I I feel like maybe there was something wrong with the baby, obviously, and that's why he came. Let's see. Eliminate target, recover body, secure Rose Winters and Ethan Winters. So the target was obviously his wife, Mia. And okay, so here's what I'm thinking. 
I have already decided that Mia is probably an imposter, somehow. Uh, move the two winters to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. Some Somehow Mia was still compromised. Uh, that's why they took her out. And then they're only taking the baby to make sure that it's okay. See if we can take this phone. It's useless. Okay. Anything else over here we can get? We duck as we can. All right. Well, let's just start walking. Um. Ooh, somebody looks like they went this way. Ooh, it is dark. Anyways, um, it looks like. I'm going to say that Mia is an imposter, and maybe they're even worried that uh, Ethan is too. They're unsure about it, but maybe they think Ethan is as well, and maybe he doesn't even realize he is. I don't know. I'm just throwing out crazy things. Because, you know, Chris isn't bad. He didn't, like, suddenly go evil. He's doing this for a good reason. And then hopefully it's just not one of those things where it's just like, well, we're not going to tell them for drama. They're, I'm hoping there's a reason that just, you know, nobody spoke to him or told him what was up. Do not enter. Well then, let's go on through. Oh yeah, that was something they never really talked about. I have some headcanon about that. He got his... Proceed to scroll. Okay. He got his hand cut off in the first game. And I, my, my headcanon is like he was... I, and they might have even said this. He was like kind of infected. Or he had some of the infection. Because then they just stapled that back on there and it worked fine. What in the world? Ooh, something's wrestling. Sounds like a wolf. Oh, jeez. Got... Oh, my goodness. Okay, keep move. Oh, oh, my gosh. Okay, well... Oh, there's more of them. Birds. Whoa! Jeez. Alright. Get away from that. I feel like I should be running, but I'm afraid to run because I can't see where I'm going. We'll just keep... keep whoa! Was that a wolf? I couldn't tell if those were... It was like eating birds or something. Yeah, I hear wolves. I hear snarling. I'm gonna duck down. It makes me feel better. Ooh, I do not like this. Okay. Well. Dead fish. Trash. Dang, it is pitch black. Oh, there are dead pigs in there. Hmm. It sounds like... Okay, well, here we go. Oh, I do not like this. No, I'm not going to examine that. No, I can't not. Oh, don't turn it on. Ooh. I cannot see anything. Do I have a flashlight? Can I hold it up? Like, what is this? Who holds a flashlight at a, a, at a 45 degree angle towards the ground? Looks like we got some pills. Alright, a little panicked. 
think we're okay. Thought maybe something would be behind me right when I opened that. Ooh, okay, let's keep moving. Keep pressing forward. Be cautious. You know, it's the beginning of the game, and I don't want to meta game too much here, but we don't even have a weapon, so I doubt. Oh, that scared me. Look at that. That owl. Anyways, I doubt they're going to throw me in a combat, but jump scares are definitely a possibility. And the first game was not above uh, scaring the bejesus out of you. I hear something. I, is that a fire? Is that a flame? Or is that just the wind like flapping through? What is this here? Well, that's definitely not, uh, that's definitely not Jesus. Some kind of, uh, like a gate with a, with a gem and then maybe a cult? Must be some kind of a cult. By the way, uh, let me, let me go ahead and say this. I have not seen anything on this game. I've tried very hard to avoid any spoilers, any videos, nothing. So I do not know. What we're getting into here. Ah, jeez. Okay, so here's a guess. I'm gonna open this up, nothing's gonna be in it. Or a body's gonna be in it, but then it's gonna be behind us. Ah. Uh, Alright. Oh. Okay. Alright, all right. go, go, go. Just go. Oh. Okay, here we go. Here's the turnaround. Get ready. Oh, jeez. What the heck is that? There's something. You know, with that previous comment, in a lot of ways, the scariest part of this game is going to be when they do give me a weapon. Owl tipped over. Oh, something knocked it. Oh, 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 something knocked this over. Hey, as long as it's not my blood. Holy smokes, is that daylight? It was pitch black like five minutes ago. What did all this? What, I hit a time warp or something? Hey, look at that, it's daylight outside. What in the world? It was pitch black. I did not spend four hours down in that basement. Huh. Alright, well. So, whatever that was just busted out of out of the house this game is I'm, I'm already I'm already hyped what is this oh I think this is where they were hanging another bird or something well I mean we didn't get attacked by wolves I'm surprised Ooh. 
Where the hell am I? Wow, look at that. It's like the castle from, uh, from Dark Souls. That's really pretty. Okay, let's look around here. Okay. And it looks like down there is a village that we're going to be moving through. I'm guessing making our way to that castle. This has got some really serious Resident Evil 4 vibes, which just so happens to be one of my favorites. Um, very cool. Alright, well with this, this seems like a good place to hold up. I am all out of time, so uh, thank you so much for being here to watch the first episode of Spooky Time, Resident Evil Village. We're going to just continue on, keep trekking forward. This is going to be a good one, I can feel it. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe and have a good night.